Welcome to the virtual viewing of Ron Gregory's photo series, Currents. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Barbara Grunbaum, and I'm sad to say I'm Ron's widow. It's hard for me and my family to believe it's been a whole year since Ron died. We miss him and think about him every day, and we're grateful for this opportunity to honor him and remember him with you today. It's equally hard to believe the world we're living in now, so different from a year ago. I never would have imagined that we wouldn't be able to gather in Louisville at Gallery Hertz for the show opening, nor would I have imagined marking the anniversary of Ron's death with a live video stream. But here we are, and hopefully we'll make him proud. I'm in my home in Rockville, but I'm not alone. Joining me by a Zoom call are some people across the country. First, we'll say hi to Ben. Wave, Ben. And let's hear a few words. First of all, I want to thank Billy Hertz and Gallery Hertz in, in Louisville, Kentucky. I want to thank longtime friends, uh, Tom Fennerstill and Ann Schneff. I want to thank uh, Connie McCabe, our rock in the DMV, just holding us all together, holding it down. I wanted to share with you guys some of my, my first memories of his work experimenting with his with, uh, with long exposure photography. This dates back to his and, and my trip to Gatlinburg, Tennessee, visiting my grandfather. We had gone down to the local creek, and uh, he had tried out some some new ideas that he had come up with um, of the currents. Most of these photographs were taken in Western Maryland at the family lake house, uh, one of my, my dad's favorite spots. Um, he would get up before sunrise. He would uh, return to the house before we'd even wake up. Uh, and now looking back, thinking about these instances makes me incredibly proud. From your son and his family in California, we, we miss you and we love you and we wish you were still here with us every single day. All that we can do is just relive these moments with you and uh, hopefully your, your memory will stay alive. Thanks, Ben. And my other son, Eli, is in Oregon. Wave, Eli. Oh, he's with Rachel, too. Hi, Rachel. Eli, your turn. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you for being here with us today. On one hand, in many ways, we're disappointed we couldn't be in Louisville. And on the other hand, um, in other ways, many more people can take part in this event. So. Um, here's to the silver lining there. Uh, this series and, and, and this show is the culmination of a lot of work from individuals. Of course, my father spent a lot of time um, taking the photographs and preparing the images. Um, and one of his final wishes was to have this series hung posthumously. Um, and shown to you all. And it means just so much to me that my mother and everyone else involved could really make this happen and make it happen in honor of my father. So thank you, mom. I love you. The kind of role that I generally played with my father's work was that of his adventure photography Sherpa. We'd go on adventures and I would haul his pack and miles into some hike, he would set up and we would spend hours in a particular site so he could capture the right shot. Um, one of my regrets um, is that I won't be able to do that anymore. Um, at least in the meantime, we have this show and we have the rest of his work that lives on. And as one of his final wishes. Um, Dad, I really hope that we are doing you proud with this, even in these strange and unforeseen circumstances. I love you, Dad. Thanks, Eli. And last but not least, we have Billy Hertz of Gallery Hertz in Louisville, Kentucky. Hey, Billy. Billy's hung all these photos in his gallery and no one can go to see them. So Billy, what's it like there? Hi, welcome to Gallery Hertz, and the ex exhibition you're about to see is Currents by the late Ron Gregory, 
And a couple things you should know about the gallery first is one of the things we are about is color. The other two is excellence in work, regardless of photography, painting, sculpture, whatever. Uh, we've never cared a rat's ass if it's uh, commercially viable or not. It's the importance of the work that we show to our public and what they expect of us. Ron's work fits into all those categories. Ron was an extremely talented individual. As Keith Waits said about his exhibition in uh, 2013 that was titled Just Rust, and it was literally images of Just Rust. Quoting from the review, scarred metal skins, the glossy surfaces deteriorating and revealing layers of rust and raw metal, exposing color and texture that in its abstraction becomes beautiful and compelling. And the reviewer Ryan Nafsinger said of the Just Rust, the literalness of the titles, like abandoned commercial storage locker or used cooking oil tank behind a restaurant, understate the immensely beautiful images giving the series an undeserved sense of humility that keeps us from forgetting it's just rust. This body of work has no individual titles, just the collective currents is sufficient. And uh, I wish you all could be here to see these pieces in person. They're just exquisite and answer all your needs as far as fine art, fine art photography, just art in general. If you need color in your home, exquisite color and a beautiful abstraction. And that's it. I'm biased and I'm, welcome to the gallery. Thanks, Billy. The gallery does really look great, and I too wish we could see those photos hanging there in person. But I guess this will have to be the next best thing. So let's take a look at close-ups of all the images now. There are a total of 27 in the show, and I'm going to cycle through them in sort of a slideshow. There'll be three opportunities to see the slideshow, so, but to begin with, let's just look at them with no commentary.
While I don't have an artist statement from Ron, I can tell you how he began the series. All of these photographs were shot during the summer of 2018. Ron was sick, but we didn't know it yet. We were spending two months at Deep Creek Lake where we have a house. And one of Ron's favorite things to do while we were there was to rise before dawn and get out to shoot in first light. But that summer there had been so much rain, he almost never got to do that. And in his frustration, he began heading out whenever it wasn't raining, often midday when the sun was high in the sky and the light was flat, not his favorite time. He went to the creeks near our house, Cherry Creek was his most common destination, and he started shooting the water rushing by. He experimented with how far he could push the exposure time. When you lengthen the exposure, the running water starts to look like cotton and lines start to trace across the images. The end result are these striking quasi-abstract photographs with planes of color and texture, and then occasionally you see a leaf or a twig or a rock. I believe he was really proud of these images. Ron's acute sense of focus, perspective, and attention to detail, then adding the elements of 30-second exposures takes an otherwise mundane water shot into the category of fine art. And you can see references in the work to the paintings of William, the English painter William Turner, uh, the American painter uh, Milton Avery, among others. What impressed me most about the photographs in his collection was that he was able to, uh, to demonstrate texture, the real texture in a flat photograph. Um, it appears to me that as though the water is gliding over the rocks and uh, it's now producing silk. The water is turning into some silk fibers. Personally, I didn't have too much of a direct connection to the series. Um, I heard about it after he had done some personal discovery uh, around the technique and in the setting. Um, when I did see it for the first time, I knew that something about this particular series was special. Um, this series stood out more than other series of his and, and other work that he's pitched. Um, not all of the series that he's done, but, but this one really stands out as something special. And one thing that I really like about this series is how he's able to unearth color where you wouldn't normally think you'd find color. He was able to see and extract purples and blues, yellows, oranges, red, all of the brightest, most exuberant colors from what is normally considered a mundane, silty creek in Western Maryland. I find the images amazing and it's incredibly inspiring to see them printed so largely and on paper that glows. Um, I really wish you all had a chance to see them in person um, and perhaps one day you will. I have another observation that I want to share and this comes from a new friend of mine, somebody who I would not have met had Ron lived. She said the following, I loved his rust pictures, but how good that this exhibit will be currents. Rust, while beautiful, is decay and change, whereas currents are a constant presence, sometimes gentle, sometimes strong. They are everywhere, always moving, wind, water. They circle the earth and continue right back. It's good energy. I think that is so apt, especially as we're gathering today to not just look at the images, but to remember Ron. So there you have it. That's all of Ron's photos that are hanging at Gallery Hertz in Louisville. I'm gonna show the slideshow one more time in this video stream, but before I do, let me tell you a couple of things. First of all, if you want to see the current images again after this is over, they've been uploaded to Ron's Behance site. And you can find that at, let me get that up, at behance.net slash Ronald J. Gregory. And there you can see not only this portfolio, but 
uh, his other work from years past. The Currents images are available for purchase at Gallery Hertz. They are printed on a Kodak Endura paper. It's a metallic paper that has a glossy surface. Ron specified this before he died. And going forward, we're not going to be able to print more because the machines that produce this type of print are being phased out. Just so you know, they're matted in white with a light maple wood frame, something also specified by Ron. The final size of the frame is approximately 30 by 22, and the prints are 22 by 15. Ron had a long history with Gallery Hertz, and I know he'd want to support them during this time that they've been forced to close. Billy's priced the prints at $750 each. His contact info is written there on the screen, both his phone number and email. And one thing you should know that if uh, you do purchase uh, one of the prints, I plan to donate any artist proceeds that I would make to food banks to help people who are struggling at this time. So hopefully we brought a little color into your lives today or helped you remember Ron, or perhaps we introduced you to his beautiful work for the first time. I do hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna sign off with a final running of the slideshow, but before I do, I wanna be sure to thank Billy, Eli, and Ben, thank you guys, as well as folks behind the scenes, Tom Fannerstill, Ann Schneff, and Connie McCabe. I couldn't have done it without you. And to everyone, thanks for watching. I hope you stay healthy, I hope you stay safe, and I hope to see you at an art gallery sometime when we can get out and do that again. For now, enjoy this last running of Currents by Ron Gregory.